Okay, anything else? Um, discussion. Um, and you know, we've had, uh, we talked uh, a little bit um, about it, but uh, I think in a, uh, the advisory, uh, advisory board is for council to use as a tool uh, to come back with recommendations to them. And also, it, it is to bring, you know, that, and part of that process is communicating back. So they understand it. And, and I, I see the frustration, I see your side of, of why I'm making the recommendation. But you have been a long wolf on, on council, and some of the input has come back to us, and it has been um, some of the council's not, you know, people are not really even paying attention to some of it. And, and I think, uh, I think we just, I mean, maybe that's a poor job on, on our side if we're not. Uh, Communicating a little bit better back to me, but not, not saying you, but I'm just saying that, you know, as a, as a board as a whole, we need to um, communicate back to uh, Hawaii and how we came about it. This is what we came about. And, and a lot of times they, they don't want to hear. Sometimes they say, hey, you're the experts, we want to hear what you're recommending. They want to, they want to take your information and be ready. If they want to get into discussion, they're all welcome.
five, six years from now, uh, we, we've crossed through some of these challenges and it's not needed. It's, it's something which I think, like these documents, we need to look at as a situation arises. I feel with the huge, um, I can't say that exactly, it, it's true. We've I mean, got just the discussion of CD2 upgrade in itself. Um, has the potential of being one of the most expensive projects the city's ever taken in a very long time. Um, there's going to be a lot of discussion whether we should do it or not do it. I think um, allowing the elected officials an opportunity to be as educated as possible um, is just going to, be, is going to benefit the electorate. It's going to benefit also the owners who have concerns. They want to express those firsthand. Because I'll tell you, even though I'm invited to any more of you, the reality is, I don't have those opportunities to the time. I can't go to a uh, few other obligations for the board meetings, which I'm not a member of, and it's hard. But being a member of the board gives it a certain weight and importance that allows me to come. Um, and being able to see firsthand a lot of our hand owners and see their meetings firsthand and witness what they, they're going through is a substantial difference in hearing that in a written report. And I think um, we owe that to both the elected officials, or the, not the elected, but our taxpayers as well as our hearing owners, uh, the most efficient is the communication possible. And I think with all that being said, with our airport, with what we've overcome and what we're about to address, having uh, some elected officials on the board will go a long way as far as efficiency efficiently moving forward and addressing these questions and these challenges as they arise. Um, and that's why I, I've thought a lot about this and, and thought, okay, this could really help solve that problem of um, getting city council involved. Um, and I would fully anticipate that if the do have city they don't both have to agree. And then we have, I think, even further, uh, one voice to express one way and another voice to express another way why.
would still be uh, the proper uh, whoever is in charge of reporting that's how I believe it. You could, you know, just live for thought. I mean, that's just something to think about. Rather than just say we want to, I mean, you know, I can see at least one. And then you're not dissipating. Um, the, I mean, it's not as you think. Yes. I met the one lone voice. I, I thought the national companies with that experience the reputation, it would be really helpful to have another uh, that's that's specifically why it's I see. That's why the recommendation. Yeah. Um, that's good. But, but. anyway, just trying to talk openly yep. about pros and cons. So um, any other thoughts about this? Would the board be a motion forward to alter our focus on verbiage and put that present that in front of the board um, for our next city council meeting and then upon approval we'll submit that to Mark Snyder? Or could we have an interview for the board? What I guess is to say is you get the motion and you can have his input for the next meeting. Okay. So, just to be clear on well, I mean, somebody needs to, of course, we haven't, nobody's made a, a motion yet. But, yeah. uh, what you're suggesting is just to modify the, the, the. I wrote down some notes. Um, want me to propose, and you guys can decide if you want to amend that or not? Is, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we're proposing to amend the board member requirements for the, the bylaws to state that um, the composition should be comprised of two members from the University of Council, two members uh, of uh, University residents, two members at large, and one position reserved for the FBO. Two, um, I'd also add that um, we need to also decide if, uh, and I, I, we made this maybe address, but I, I think we need to decide formally um, if, the, it does, what does the FBOC mean? Is it exclusively to the dean, or can it be held by a uh, proxy that he, that he designates, such as Alan, that he's had to come in here said a few times? Does this position be held by a... a, a what, if, what if you end up with three FBOs on the um, I think it should Just be, be one. no, I think that's I thought about that. I think um, the the mayor at that point should make an appointment based on um, maybe an alternating schedule. One would be up the board, one term, and that would alternate to the next FBO the next year. So it would be something that's got to be right. right. Sooner or later. Right. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that would, that would comprise the, the members themselves as far as when names are given for recommendation. There must be included whether or not they have aviation experience and any conflicts that may exist with the airport such as hangar ownership or other property interests, which is development or things of that nature that might consider the profit at the or for profit at the so that's those are the three things I've found so far. To answer your question, if it's, it would be helpful to say, you know, FBO representative or proxy. I, mean, I think you asked that as a question. Yeah, is that a big deal? But I mean, it's, it's sometimes helpful. Okay. If your proxy comes in and raises you to tell us you're this way, you can help you. That's an issue. Okay, so um, with the okay, so this one we just need to get a motion of some kind. So that the board is going to be covered. Well, you just mentioned right there. It sounds like a motion to make that recommendation. Uh, okay, I can't verbalize that in front of me. Well, I think uh, uh, it probably needs to be clarified by if he wants to make a motion. Just there was some discussion in the room to clarify. Yeah, we'll have a motion second and we'll go to the discussion. Uh, we'll I'd make a motion to uh, approve uh, this with the exception of the two 
city council members would be, you know, one minimum and up to two. Okay, I have a motion to take the composition as stated with the, with the exception that rather than two uh, mandatory city council members, one would be mandatory with the second upon the... So, in other words, somebody, a member that... Uh, at large, could be appointed all the way or another city councilor. So, they could have the authority to appoint two on there if they wish. But if they select one, they, they should put another at large for, uh, for instance, uh, you know, I mean, I, mean, I guess that's up to council. We have a motion to have a second. Discussion. The final uh, issue I would have is um, the. I, I really feel strongly that because this is a Heber City asset, the majority of the membership should be Heber City residents. Um, if we left that second one up to at large, um, there potentially could take that away as far as the majority. Um, to make the majority of the that was four. Um, I'm willing to modify that to that to be. A Hebrew, a Hebrew city mm -hmm. resident. Yeah, so either as, it could be either a city council, well, on that point. City council member or... So essentially what you're saying is... Yeah. is I mean, it does make a difference because... Well, I'm it's saying, it's, it's really going to be up to... It's, it's cheap enough. But I, I think it really... Do we really... I, I mean, I, I, you know. No, I'm saying what we're really, we're really just saying is... is um, it needs to be a one city council member with three Hebrew city residents. Because every city council member is a university president. So if the mayor yeah. wanted to appoint two city council members, he can't. Yeah, I just, I don't have a problem with I, I mean, I think you need to live the latitude in the, for, I guess, what I would suggest is a city board. And I would just modify your emotions that way. I did not want to keep it. The, uh, as proposed in this document. Mm -hmm. uh, proposing this document, except instead of requiring two members of council to be on, the latitude is given to a minimum one required council member and the option to appoint a second if so desired, or they can appoint somebody else at large or not. I mean, at large or not. Well, I mean, no one introduced, you know, with that ambiguity, introduced. Uh, Lack of clarity in terms of what we think the board should how it should be composed. <laughs> I, just well, I don't think it's our fault. I don't think it's I think it's giving the latitude that we're actually stating we want one council member on there that you know it leaves it up to the there might not be two that want to serve. So two get appointed to it and one doesn't want to be there, now one 